way to your friends. Hi, it's Lydia. And Heather, your teacher friends, and we're here with a technology activity that is quite relevant to all of us, really. So over our lifetimes, the technology that we use to get places has really changed. <laughs> sure we has. have such help now from maps and satellites, getting us to places and even telling us how long it's going to take us to get to them. We were just having a discussion about the Melways before. Ah. Anyway, for this activity, we're not going to need too much. We're just going to need these materials. So we've designed an activity for younger children involving a beloved pet dog that was lost. But lucky for him, he had a tracker put on so that we can discover the places he had been to. Oh, like my dad keeps track of where <laughs> I've been, yeah. Absolutely. So for this technology to work, we need a network of satellites that orbit the Earth and there are currently about a hundred of them out in space. And these satellites are constantly sending down towards us radio signals. And on the other end of this equation, we're going to need antennae on our devices, whether it's a mobile phone, our laptops, or this tracker that can receive these signals. Um, these trackers are then able to perform calculations to find out how far away that specific satellite is. Now, if you can find out where four of these satellites are, we can then perform a calculation to determine exactly where the dog is. And this process is called trilateration. And this information is then displayed on our tracker as a geographical coordinate, which is made up of two sets of numbers, one telling you the latitude. Yep, that's how far we are north north or south of the equator. And the other set of numbers telling you the longitude. And that's these lines that we see around the globe here. So we've given you the coordinates on the worksheet to tell you where the dog has been. We will need uh, you to pull up Google Maps. So the first set of numbers in that search box, yes. please type in negative 37.7841. Heather, why is it negative? Why is there a negative Ah, oh, so number? if it's negative, that just means that we're south of the equator. Okay. Oh, hopefully my, I'm, I'm thinking my dog hasn't gone too far. Comma. Now we, now I'm going to give you the longitude. Yep. That's 144.9519. Now where has this little doggy gone? Where is my doggy? Oh! <laughs> my dog is at the zoo. Hang on, we, I'm going to change it so we can look at the, the satellite picture. Where exactly has so he been? So we can at see. The zoo. Let's have a look. Oh. oh, it does say it's not too busy there too. I was right near that roundabout in the middle of Melbourne Zoo there. That's a okay. lovely spot to go. So this, that wasn't the only place where he'd gone whilst he was missing. All right, where else has he gone? Try yes. me out. Yep. So he has also found himself at negative 37. Negative 37.9225, comma, 144.6671. OK, where else have you, have you gone, little doggy? Where did you go, doggy? Oh, he's gone to another zoo, <laughs> has he? <laughs> He's got to say hello to all his friends. Oh, that's lovely. This is, uh, hang on, right, I'll switch very his naughty back. Dog. I can see that we've gone <laughs> to the Werribee Zoo there. Right. Lovely. Quite near the cafe. Oh. Because he was hungry. Of course. He's right. trying to steal people's chips. So yeah. I'm sure your children will have lots and lots of fun finding out where this pet dog has gone and for the older children where a flock of birds had travelled as they circumnavigated the earth. So once your students have mastered this activity, then they could be the ones that make the scavenger hunt. And maybe they'll make one that's personalised to them, places to do with their families, or places that are related to other topics that you're studying in class. You could send them all over the world just using the devices in your classroom. We've had so much fun with this activity. I hope you have fun with your students in class too.